really sunny. I was about to go into a very enthusiastic introduction then, but my eyes are absolutely blinded. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Portimao Race Circuit in the Algarve in southern Portugal, where behind me is a brace of McLaren 720Ss and 570Ss. I am at my very first pure McLaren track event. For those of you guys who don't know, this is a dedicated track event ran by McLaren for McLaren cars only, and it gives you the ability to fully immerse yourself and absolutely spank a McLaren on some of the world's greatest racing circuits. Hence, today we are here at Portimao. Now, I am fresh off the back of the McLaren Senna Drive. Uh, I'm not sure when this video is going out, so I don't want to give too much away. But what I will say is, despite the fact that I'm going to be spending the majority of my day in a 720S, I'm definitely going to have to recalibrate my appreciation for the braking points and turn-in points compared with the McLaren Senna, which absolutely scrambled my brain. So without further ado, let's give you a look around and check out what's what. So I'm not sure yet which of these cars I'm going to be allocated, but let's just pick this one for now because something quite cool about all of these 720s is they're fully rigged up with half roll cage and full harness setups as well as full bucket seats. Might sound obvious, but not everyone specs their McLarens towards a track by a setup, so it's going to be awesome to be really fixed in and anchored into a 720. Despite the fact that this isn't necessarily a track-focused car, the brakes are incredible and the handling is fantastic. And to be snugly fitted into a car and under heavy braking so you don't get thrown around in a, by comparison, loose seatbelt is going to be awesome. You might also be able to hear that some other currently fairly loud cars going around. The other great thing about McLaren Pure events is that their GT4 racing series, which is 570 GT4s, also follows the Pure event around. So between your sessions, you're also watching a live, real racing series. And it's such a unique event that I'm super excited about. Okay, so the real reason I'm here which I haven't really spoken about too much, is because I'm about to jump into one of the 570S GT4s. Now, the significance of this is that this weekend I've been driving the McLaren Senna, which has insane amounts of downforce. Um, but interestingly, that car wasn't running on slicks, despite the fact that it is basically a dedicated track car. And then I've been doing some sighting laps here in the 720S, which has much faster straight line speed than the GT4s. However, the braking points and the overall lateral grip through the corners on this car with having slicks is going to be fascinating and i'm not sure if you guys have noticed me going on and on about it but i'm dying to get some time in a race car and hopefully get some overall seat time in the long term so this is my first taste really into a series which i'm very interested in doing so let's see how it goes we're going to jump in the car and do some proper hardcore laps in a full-blown race car on slicks in the heat on a sticky track. I cannot wait. So the only thing that I've driven recently that really is a race car for the road is without doubt the McLaren Senna. We hear this a lot, don't we? But supercars are like race cars for the road. Let me tell you something. When you go in a race car, you quickly realize that they're not like race cars for the road. I mean, a proper race car doesn't even have a passenger seat. These things are fully, fully stripped out. Lots of carbon. I mean, look, they're not even going to the extent of shrouding any of the componentry and electricals inside. It's all about being lightweight and, of course, safe. That's the other thing that is quite distinctive about a full-blown race car, is that they rock a full roll cage everywhere. You have to more sort of climb inside these cars rather than sit in them. And it's just really designed very much to be driver focused, pure and raw. And then the whole bucket seat thing is taken to an entirely different level. You'll be wearing a hands device in there as well. This shrouding here is designed to keep your, your head in check. Heaven forbid that you do have a, a big off. And the seats are generally fitted to you a lot tighter than even sport seats in something like a 675. LT. So once you're in them, uh, there is this tendency to kind of feel a little bit claustrophobic because you've got your helmet on. Getting inside it is really tight. It's like stepping into this carbon fiber cave with a roll cage inside it. Hands device on as well, which restricts your head and neck movement. 
Uh, yeah, and the whole thing becomes pretty intense pretty quickly. And mostly what people who haven't experienced a uh, full-blown race car might not appreciate is just how impressive the braking is. The full harnesses, which is another element that, that contributes to you feeling cocooned in the car. Um, the harnesses not only keep you in place in the seat under lateral loading, but under braking, honestly, your whole body just gets shunted right into these harnesses and it would make a seat belt feel like a flimsy piece of tape. So all in all, you become as much of a component of the car as you possibly can. And then you can brake later, turn harder, and uh, ultimately go faster. So. That was a quick overview of what it's like inside the GT4. There are some cameras inside the car. I'm not sure of the quality because mostly they're dedicated to the V-boxes to help drivers improve their driving when they get out. They can review the footage and the telemetry and see how to improve. But um, if I can, I'll splice in that as well. Let's get on the track. I mean, you even feel like a racing driver thing in that thing, you know? <laughs> it's, so, it's so cool. I just, uh, basically I spend most of my time on track days in supercars, which are conventionally quick cars. It's not the straight line punch. This doesn't have the, the straight line punch, but on the braking and cornering, being a, such a light car and those amazing brakes, the slicks not only help you in corner speed, but you can anchor on so hard. And because there's no squirm, it just absolutely squats and sheds off so much speed. And bleeding off in a car with slicks just makes so much more sense when it clicks. Just the car rotates lovely past the apex and you can find yourself the back following you around lovely, ready to squirt out of the next corner. Man, it's actually, I've been holding on harder than I thought I would to the whole discipline in a, in a fast race ago to try and be as relaxed as you can. But because you're trying to, it's so intense, you can't help but grip, but I gotta spend some more time in this thing, man. GT4. 570 is a wonderful machine. This has been one of the best weekends. I've been in Senna a few days ago and now this, yeah, recalibrated. Unfortunately, I now have to go to the airport. So as always guys, thanks so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.